But first at 10, the Daryl Brooks trial put Waukesha County Judge Jennifer Darrow on the national spotlight. And tonight we're getting a look at the stacks of mail sent to her from people across the country. Mary McCarr shows us the common theme in many of these messages. Have you ever been to Wisconsin before? I've never been to Wisconsin. How Laura Lewis lives in Austin, Texas. She hadn't even heard of Waukesha or the Daryl Brooks trial until she saw a clip of it on TikTok. I don't know, it just like caught my attention. And so um, I then got into a TikTok hole and um, looked it up on court TV. She then became one of the many pairs of eyes across the nation watching the trial unfold with Judge Jennifer Doro at the helm. To watch a strong woman um, command the courtroom in that way, but she also did it with a lot of respect for him, which I'll be honest, I'm not sure that a lot of people could have done. Laura was so inspired by Doro in the courtroom, she wrote her an email saying thank you. And she wasn't the only one. We went to the Waukesha County Courthouse today to see what other types of mail and reaction the judge received from the trial. This is a stack of 25 individual letters, all praising Judge Doro. Nearly half of these also came with a bouquet of flowers attached to them. And this isn't even a fraction of the hundreds of letters sent her way. I was abundantly patient with you yesterday. What I told you to, to make sure that she knew that what she was doing was appreciated? Yeah, look, I'm, I'm a, a woman in like a male dominated space. And I think when you, when you see someone doing something like that, it's important to let them know. Letters in this stack alone came from 11 states across the country, from California to Massachusetts. The most common thing mentioned was her patience. One note saying, you have taught me patience and I don't even know you. Like, I hope that she knows that, you know, there are people all around the country that saw it. And um, she represented um, certainly Waukesha, but I mean, Wisconsin um, really well. Miriam McCarr, TMJ4 News. Judge Duro and Duro Books are back in court today. She set Brooks's sentencing for November 15th and 16th. He is expected to spend the rest of his life behind bars for killing six people and hurting dozens more at Waukesha's Christmas Parade. The state says that nearly 40 survivors and family members of victims plan to speak before Brooks's sentencing is hand down.